Hi and welcome. This is Archana with Divine Soul Resonance welcoming everyone to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Today I'm bringing forth a reading for the Divine Masculine Collective in the Twin Flame journey. So I've called in the guides. I've done the invocation before. I do that every single time before I begin a reading. Uh, your higher self and your Twin Flames higher self. I've invited their presence here to come through. So this part of the reading, um, I'm going to start with the Divine Masculine Collective. And what I'm guided to today is not to look at where they are in their mind, the heart. If that er emerges, then I'm going to let that emerge. But what I'm going to start the reading with is to look at what are the soul lessons that they're integrating? What are the shadows that they are integrating and facing right now? The light and the dark the light aspect within themselves and the shadows that they are integrating within themselves and what is really hidden on this part of the journey in the divine masculine's journey what is hidden from the divine feminine in the physicality what is it that the divine feminine doesn't know is taking place in the divine masculine's life so anyone can be a holder of the divine masculine divine feminine you know male or female doesn't matter but for easier purposes for myself i shall be referring to the divine masculine as a he and a divine feminine as a she take what resonates for you and let us begin thank you angels let's first start with what are the divine masculines integrating now the light and the dark what aspect are they integrating right now in their journeys faith hope deepening of the spiritual bond perhaps some of them are seeking to that light i feel like before i began the reading as i was meditating on the energy of the divine uh, masculines i'm sensing like a lot of constriction in their ability to communicate to feel creative to be able to express their authentic self and um, i was feeling a lot of stagnant emotions or turbulences in their emotional body so they are uh, let's see what the cards will show but this is the energy that i picked up that they are seeking stability in the emotions the emotions are about their situations about the connection with the divine feminine is taking them in a a dark period there's a lot of turbulences we'll see why those turbulences are coming so this is what they're integrating the light and the dark part of it faith losing faith hope losing hope lack of support looking for support looking for miracles wishing for miracles not believing that miracles is possible being spiritual or absolutely being materialistic so there is this light and the dark aspect of the crown chakra is what i'm sensing is what they're integrating at this time how to develop more hope what are the soul lessons i'll take three soul lessons that they're integrating right now angels being honest something wanted to come and go okay thank you angels Let, let's look at the three uh, parts that they are integrating right now and we have first first energy up is honesty I do feel like that there has been a lack of integrity and here what I'm referring to integrity as they've really hidden how they feel what they feel and they held that back Perhaps because in their past, their relationships, whether it's at work or in other relationships, intimate relationships, people have been less than, people have been less than honest with them. And they, the part of trust gets eroded. And I feel like this goes back to the inner child. That really does. Because I see that, that the Divine Masculine Collective is reaching to the light for hope. I mean... Can I, can I get honesty? Can I get truth? How do I move forward, divine? I'm not sure. I do see that they're also sensing who their friends are, who their friends are not, meaning who really supports their journey or are they there in for a quick gain and out? And they recognize with a connection with the divine feminine that divine feminine was a true friend and that she was there supporting him. Okay, that's another energy that they're integrating. The third one that I'm sensing that they are, they're working through right now is that many of them are working on detoxing their physical body. It could be mental, emotional, but I also feel 
for some of the divine masculines actually for a lot of the divine masculines they're really going through what is physically healthy for me okay whether it means detoxing from uh, addictive behaviors actual addictions in terms of alcohol smoking drugs uh, pornography sex and uh, toxic relationships drawing that in being dishonest so all of those are extreme work so workaholic um, you know so it has taken a toll on their physical body it has so their right now focus is on the light and the dark both the focus is on I need to honor my physicality and we have to understand that spiritual self must be grounded in the physical body the physical realm once we begin to honor the physical realm is when the physical realm honors us and which means our physical body our physical surroundings how we interact in nature how we interact with people all on the earth element it's all falling under the health that's what they are integrating right now What are they integrating? The light and the dark angels. You know, when I was shuffling, I um, stopped at this one. I should have known this will come out. Surrender. Another one of the environment in the green card, number 44, which is all about the earth, connection to the earth. One more energy, what they are integrating. Domestic harmony. Okay. So let's look at this one. One of the energies that they are integrating right now is surrendering. Surrendering whatever is taking place and that goes back into faith and hope and spirituality is whatever is taking place, they're surrendering and learning. And that is part of the lesson, part of the shadow is to learn to let go of control. So this is the opposite of control. So I do feel like at some point the divine masculines you were subconsciously seeking control seeking control so you were probably saying the things that other people wanted to hear okay to in order to be approved in order to be accepted in order to uh, feel honored respected um, etc right so I feel like part of the lesson if there has been a separation with your divine feminine right now for those who are separated from the divine feminine it is that the the universe is telling you to surrender surrender that and focus on your health because this is coming directly and being drawn to this take care of your physical body it is time that you begin to nurture yourself if you need to go start a physical regimen go ahead start that you want to start working out you want to start doing yoga whatever it is that calls to you something on the physical realm okay I'm um, see the green and and there is the blue I feel like right now what you are going through divine masculines and what's hidden really from the divine feminine is that there are issues that are taking place in your home front Okay, whether it's with your parents, with your siblings, um, with if you've had uh, partnerships, your ex-wives, your other relationships that you have had, there is a balancing that's coming in there. There is old karma that needs to be released over there. And that's if there's been a separation with the divine feminine, it is because these parts are coming in balance because there's a part in the physicality that needs to come in harmony. That's what I'm sensing here. This health is not just the physical health. It's the physical realm. What you have created on the physical realm in this life and in other lives. There's a part of the balancing that's taking place, the karmic balance that's taking place to create more harmony. Okay. So, um, and as always, as I begin your reading, Divine Masculines, my um, throat starts to uh, act up a lot. And I know that throat chakra is... Um, either there is an excess opening and you've said things that were hurtful and mean and that created disturbances in in your in your home front it is a time for a shift in this that's what i'm sensing here is a big thing that's taking place so surrender this part of the journey be honest that's part of the lesson that you're learning be honest i can't always expect the truth from others but I can expect this from myself. Let me be honest. Let me be vulnerable. Let me speak what I believe is true, whether it is accepted by other person. And when you're speaking the truth, it doesn't mean that you're being mean and you're putting somebody down. It is holding your ground on what you believe in. Let me be truthful, even though others will lie to me. Not that you are expecting that, but that's where you release that 
if I said the truth, why is the other person lying to me? Okay, so that that we get into that energy of you let the other people be. That's their learning. That's their karma. You have to work on yourself. This is a journey for work on the self. Okay, that's one. Second uh, big message here is you are and again, how are you interacting with the environment? And here the friendship is really, it's going to sound silly, but I'm going to say that. How friendly are you in your environment? Okay. How open and generous? How loving are you to the mother element? The earth. She's the divine mother. She supports all of life forms, divine masculines. So part of your growth and learning is how you are correlating with the divine mother. This also helps you. Do you see all the colors on here? This is the heart. That's where your heart and soul connection is with the divine feminine. Once you bring healing in, in the current home situation that you have, and also within the physical body, your physical realm, this is also the card of the physical realm. So opening up and being gentle, card number 44, you know, anchoring in solid foundations, security, okay? Creating harmony, not having not having this kind of an energy in your home front, in your workplace. The domestic harmony can also extend for those um, people, those who are working and co-workers. How are you relating with them? Is there harmony and balance? When you begin to bring that balance in, in your physicality, wherever you are, you're going to create the harmony and balance with your divine feminine. Okay, that's what you're integrating right now. Let's start with Tara to see what are you integrating. Clarity of belief. I like that coming straight. Absolutely. This is our Ace of Swords. Getting clear. Releasing that expectations. There's a transformation that's taking place. The more you speak your heart's truth. And this person is speaking. This is you, Divine Masculine. Holding and speaking your heart's truth gently. This is not harsh. This is not so... Temper your words with compassion. Temper your words and your energy with love, with kindness. So when you speak from your heart, putting your hands on your heart and speaking, you're speaking truthfully and you're sending that vibration into the universe. And by law of attraction, when you begin to speak your own truth, the untruth and the untruthful people will fall away from your life and you'll begin to magnetize truthful, honest, and friendly people and environments and situations to you so it is time for you to speak your truth really share your vulnerability start sharing your vulnerability and your truth if you are in separation with your twin flame have courage you speak your truth whether the divine feminine receives that or not that is her journey you speak your truth you share honestly and gently what you believe, what your journey has been. Start to open up and honor yourself and honor your connection. I'm not saying you're not, but this is a part if you're connecting right now, that's what I'm sensing that's coming up for you, Divine Masculines. So I do feel that this card has come this is the justice card like detachment here card number 11 again 44 and 11 is important in this um reading for you divine masculines meaning if you're seeing this number you see something happen um it, it will have a special meaning for you you'll know you'll know so just pay attention to who's showing up and what's taking place so be um release your spirit don't get attached to um, some one first message uh, outside of your connection with the divine feminine is that you need to take a detached approach from some people who you are connected with who are your friends but they've really been less than okay so they've really taken you down um, and perhaps I feel like they've created like a fissure between you and the divine feminine I do sense that so you really truly have to see who are your true friends are they supporting you are they supporting your true journey are they supporting your highest good I was drawn to that light on the faith card are they supporting your highest journey do they do they believe in miracles and have you believe in miracles so are they uplifting so have a look at that who is that in your environment who are you surrounding with and please take a detached approach okay so some of the people we um 
when we are shifting our vibration, but we want the other people to shift their vibration too. But that is their journey, okay? That is their journey. I cannot expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And also, as you're speaking um, to and with your Divine Feminine, be open, be honest, be just, and release the spirit. So don't get attached to the past or some things that how you should say. So speak in a loving but detached way. I mean, am I making sense here? These are one, one, one here. So speak your heart's truth, okay? If that means, hey, I need time. I need to be able to, quote unquote, fix this part of my life before I can come towards you. That's wonderful. That's being honest. Um, so don't get attached to control. Don't try to control a situation to bring it a certain way. Expecting the Divine Feminine to respond a certain way. That's going to be that person's journey. Your twin, your twin flame's journey. This is you. This is you learning to speak your heart's truth. You learning to integrate those those parts, those traumas and clearing that up. Okay, clearing that up. Perhaps you need to focus on your work and your physical health right now. And that's okay. If you've been in addictive patterns of behavior, be open. Be open and trust and share that. That, hey, I'm working on this right now. And I'm going to focus on that part of you. And I love you. I'm always here. But this is what I need to do now. And that is completely okay. But it is healthy communication is very, very important. Okay. So I'm sensing that be just detach yourself from that and just speak. Just speak gently. Okay. So when we attach expectations of how the other person should be or how I should be, that's where the problem is. But be gentle, okay? Don't, don't, don't just use your heart energy. Be compassionate. Divine Feminine's on this journey with you. She's supporting you. She's your support. She's your friend. She's the lover. She's everything. She's, she's your soul fabric. So if you get triggered, it is for a reason because she's helping you to heal. So she's not the enemy here. Just have to say that. Some of you may feel that way. It's not. She's not out to hurt you. She's out to bring out that hurt. So you can bring that part to healing. Be detached and look at the things that have taken place in the journey so far. One more message. Thank you, angels. Okay, we got the devil card. I mean, the devil always shows in my reading. I'm sorry. And and I knew this card would show up for you, Divine Masculines, because when I was shuffling, the angels asked me to just kind of look at this. And I'm going to start with this. That's beautiful with both of these. Let's start first. No, let's first start with the devil energy. Let's start with um, the energy that is really um, holding you back. It's It's you are not allowing. Again, this is the caging of the heart what are the things that you are caging your heart with is it the past relationship with another person is it something that other people have said or is it your own limiting thoughts perhaps a trauma that took place in childhood or there's something in your dream the recurring nightmares that you have taken on perhaps before you came and incarnated on earth as a part of what you're here to heal. Look at that heart, look at the heart energy ready to glow and expand. Heart is a very strong transmitter. It can harmonize and cleanse out the environment. And there you are. And you have a very powerful transmitter, Divine Masculines. You're very, very powerful. Your heart is very, very strong, very gentle, very tender. And once this is uncaged, once this is released, the amount of love and the amount of shift that you're going to create in the universe is insane, okay? I, I'm, I'm telling you, you're here to master that part. This devil energy is not here to prevent you. It's helping you to master what you already are and know. You just have to face that part right now, masculines. When I was shuffling in this energy wanted to just simply stay with me it is this is what's taking place for you you know where the heart has been caged this is the sun card all happiness joy being free from past hurts from past situations and really truly being yourself truly being yourself 
and your dreams this is the cards of dreams coming true you've been putting that heart energy out and the universe wants to give that to you it is time you must embrace all of who you are the light and the dark embracing all as one and allowing yourself to be birthed Let's look at some of the things that are hidden from the Divine Feminines. What is it that is taking place, which we have seen as taking place in your life, but what is hidden divine, from the Divine Feminine? What is it that you are putting under the wraps and the Divine Feminine cannot see? I did talk about the emotions and I am, I don't do reversals ever, but today I'm being called to do this. What is hidden from the Divine Feminine is what I started with, what I was feeling, and I got the two emotions card here. First is that they truly are traversing through uh, darker emotions in their life, and it could be in their own home and within this connection, and it's pulled it up, the, the Twin Flame. You have, the Divine Feminine has pulled this up to the surface, and now healing must take place, okay? where they are recognizing the need to speak the truth honestly and surrender, uh, gain more, more and more perspective and trust the divine, trust and they surrender. So this is the part of leaving behind the conflict, leaving behind the chaos, and it could also be the chaos that was created within this connection because when a lot comes up, now we all have to deal with it, and so we're not in a, um, what is the word? We're not in a balanced place to connect with one another. So there's a lot of projections and a lot of things that we project at each other. So at that time, there's always going to be the periods of separation, healing, and then the periods of closeness and then separation. So it's literally like a wave. So I feel like, yes, Divine Feminines, you may have felt like they have moved away from you or they've moved away from you. What are they doing? They're, they are learning to hold their ground and free their spirit and learn this is the part of the learning is they're learning to surrender to the journey they're learning to uh, balance out the emotions and they're taking care in their home front and i'm going to talk about this part and what's really hidden from the divine feminine is that where there was a separation that took place where the divine masculines may have just literally just taken off and um because there was a lot of emotions and there's a lot of things that were opening up for them it was so that the Divine Feminine can find, learn detachment, learn detachment, okay? And connect stronger to her environment and to herself. There you go. This is the Divine Feminine. They see you as this Divine Feminine. And this is what's hidden from you is this part at an energetic level, the Divine Masculine is detached at some point from you so that you can follow your dreams you can stand in your power you can you know here she's sitting on her throne where you follow your dreams and passion with hope faith and optimism and that surrender is a part of your journey too okay so this is what's hidden from you this is how they see you this is where when they detach it is because this is where you're sitting this is where they are wishing to see you on that throne what's also hidden from you is that as they are, this is definitely taking place in the lives of the Divine Masculines, is there's some sort of a domestic harmony that needs to come to play, okay? There needs to be a harmonization that takes place in their home front with their family, the co-workers, at workplace. There's some sort of a disturbance, a big disturbance there, and that needs to come to balance. And that's, and you may, Divine Feminine, may see the Divine Masculine as not sharing their emotions, holding back on the emotions, and there's just zero movement in this connection but it's actually a lot of emotions did i not say that when i was tapping into the divine masculine collective i was feeling like a constriction on the throat there is movement taking place and that they are clearing out emotions they have a lot of emotions but right now there's turbulences that is created these blockages that created because of karma in their home or in the workplace or with other partners that they've had in their life in the past or currently they may be in that relationship and that is what they are working through to open up and heal these are past karmic wounds they're past karmic connections and when i talk about karmic it doesn't mean like a 
uh, love partnership as in a karmic connection, the family karma that has been created has created a lot of hurt and it has blocked their heart. So blocking of the emotions, blocking of the movement may what may be hidden from you, but they're mastering that. This is what their big journey is. There's a, th this is like, I'm going to keep it like this. It, it is, this is a big part in their journey right now. Whew, divine masculines. Any messages that want to come through before I um, pull angel guidance to close out the reading? Any other messages that want to come through in the Divine Masculine reading that I may have missed? Independence. And there comes the Divine Feminine. Thank you. Loss and regret for things that have taken place. Um, in this connection and in their life so i'm sensing here there's a lack of self-worth that they're working with they're working through this this is this has created a lack of self-worth in the divine masculine collective they're not feeling independent they don't feel like they have enough uh, materially they're not independent they don't know how they're going to come together with the divine feminine that's one but they definitely see you as independent see we saw the queen of wands and we have this um, nine of Pentacles, very, very um, independent energy. Okay, so there's that. They're trying to bring the two aspects in balance for themselves. They're really thinking of a new way. So this part of the transition is illumination coming to light. How do I make my dreams a reality? How do I really release this part? How do I detach myself from these situations? Is a part of the journey that the divine masculines are going through right now. Okay. So there may have been a movement away. There may have been a fast, quick exit in this connection, which has created some hurt and pain um, within this connection. There is the Queen of Cups and there is the King of Cups. Okay, so both. So this is definitely showing up as a strong soulmate, strong twin flame connection right here. Okay, so these are the messages that are coming forth oh my gosh we double 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 there we go double double i'll show you there's a queen of cups there's a king of cups okay doesn't matter whether it's reversed or not there is a queen of wands i'm going to show you this and there is a king of wands okay so we've got passion we've got uh energy we've got sexuality we've got a lot of emotions we've got a lot of love so this is a strong strong <sighs> bond this is the part of embracing the journey. This is the part where they are embracing the journey, walking away from, they may have been a walking away. They may have felt like it's a walking away. Whatever that period looks like for you, don't judge that because there is healing taking place. This is definitely, they're healing this past. I'm definitely seeing this. For the Divine Masculine Collective, they're healing their past memories. Definitely rejection. They have given their love to some people and it was rejected. It was rejected. So they're traversing that land. I told you the, the King of Cups came reversed in here. Um, they cannot share the emotions. Absolutely not right now when they're going through the healing period. They're definitely going through rejection. This is rejection energy I'm feeling. And this is abandonment energy. And we got the card of justice again. Again, it feels like in reverse. They're feeling like situations just never end. And I'm tired here. Tower. Okay. Big enlightenment about what brings me happiness. What brings me strength. And what how I should bring about stability in my life. These are big part of the journey that they're going through uh that you're going through divine masculines um i want to just say that keep your faith surrender this part of the journey this is a divine connection but at this time i'm being guided to tell you that you must focus on yourself you must focus on creating harmony in your environment uh creating harmony within the physicality start to bring balance in in your physicality to heal that part of the the heart the wounds from the past so that when you bring that healing in you will magnetize and you will you will be able to connect with the divine feminine at a higher vibrational level two final closing messages for the divine masculines as they're integrating the light and the dark authentic purpose you know 
you guys hear me if you're coming to my channel for the first time then you're not hearing it before but those who have come here to my channel many times i said oh when i was shuffling i saw the card it's not like i shuffle and i see a thousand cards these some cards just stick with me i'm looking at them and then i just stare at them and then i go back into shuffling and when they come up it's it's such a strong confirmation that my my intuitive side was guiding me to hover in on that because that was going to be an important part and this one did come up and the messages that had come up even when i was shuffling was oh the divine masculines are on their purpose so whatever is taking place again oh my gosh there's the emotions there's there's the water this is the exact energy that i was seeing when i was doing the meditation before the divine masculine collective was that even though you're feeling like you're going through turbulent waters divine masculine there's that light you're moving towards that light there's light and you are on this authentic purpose okay beautiful i'll take one more ancestor spirits so you are very very protective and guided right now uh, your ancestral spirits are around you for those who connect with that I would highly encourage you Spirit, the spirit is coming to you to help you heal I, I talked about family wounds did I not say domestic harmony and it says yeah family wound or pattern can be healed now so connect to your lineage so this is the time if you've uh, if you've kind of separated from your uh, twin from your divine feminine because this is the part your ancestors are coming in because this is part of your purpose to come into union with your divine feminine on the physicality but before the union can take place in the physicality old wounds and old patterns that you've chosen to heal are up for for review here here's this package here's this so at this point this is the part of harmony you're bringing harmony in. you're going to anchor in a new vibration in your family lineage that's what i'm seeing here that right now the focus is on cleansing the part of the familial wounds in your lineage you are clearing that so surrender to this part of the journey okay there's a strong like light activation that's taking place for you right now divine masculines Miracles are taking place in your life. Continue to have faith. You are very, very supported and loved on this journey. And even if the Divine Feminine has not said that to you in the physicality, she loves you very much. And you know that in your heart. Connect with the Divine Feminine in the heart and feel that. Know that you're supported by your Divine Feminine deep within the heart. Don't let the 3D communication not let you see the truth. You're on this purpose. You're meant to come together. This is right here. There's love. There's passion. There's growth. There's ascension. So embrace yourself. Embrace all aspects of you. Your dreams are materializing, Divine Masculines. You're going to be shining and connecting into the light. You're here to help heal. So if you're feeling like you're going through a dark night, there is light at the end of that tunnel. So keep the faith. I send you much love, much light. This is Arshana with Divine Soul Resonance.